Now we move on to page four, which says foundation of geometry and triangle review problems. And uh, looking at this first problem here, they say J is perpendicular to uh, M, and you can see they put a little right angle there. K is perpendicular to M. If you have two lines that are perpendicular to the same line, these lines are parallel. This is the fast, fast way to do this problem. So if these lines are parallel, angle one, this, that's what they want to know. What is the measure of angle one? Angle one and angle 51 are a special type of pair. They are alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles are congruent. They're the same. So I can just say the answer C. There was another way you could solve this. You could say, all right, subtract uh, 51 from 90, that'll get me 39 here. And then 39 plus a 90 plus whatever this is has to equal to 180. And you'll get exactly the same answer. But you see how much faster this is when you know about alternate interior angles. Both methods will work. All right, next problem. In the diagram below, PQ is congruent to MQ. So that makes this an isosceles triangle. And they tell me the measure of angle M is 70. Well, if angle M is 70, then angle P, well, it's a QPM, is 70. And what are they looking for? TQP. So this is what we're looking for. I'll call that X. All right? Well, this angle right here, um, I'll call that Y. Y plus 70 plus 70 has to equal how much for a triangle? 180. So Y plus 140 equals 180. Subtract 140 from both sides. Getting a little tight. Y equals 40 degrees. So that's 40 degrees. Well, these two have to be supplementary. You really don't have to do an equation, but you can do it. X plus 40, they both have to be 180 degrees because they make a straight line when you combine them. See, here's my straight line right here. Subtract 40 from both sides, and you get X equals 140. And your answer is C. All right, moving up to the next one. In the figure below, WY bisects VWZ, and the measure of angle VWY, VWY is 32 degrees. So I'm going to put 32 degrees right here. And they tell me the whole thing, VWX, all the way around, is 117 degrees. And they tell me that WY bisects. Bisects means cuts in half. All right? So if that's 32 degrees, that's half. The other half is on this side, 32 degrees. Well, I know the total is 117, and I'm trying to find this missing angle, which is A. I just like A. A plus 32 plus 32 has to equal 117. A plus 64 equals 117. Subtract 64 from both sides. And you get A equals 53 degrees. So your answer is B. Now, last problem on page 4. M is the midpoint of RS. All right, so let me draw that. M is in the middle. R and S. They tell me RM is 3X plus 1. They tell me our MS is 4X minus 2. Well, if this is the midpoint, both pieces have to be equal. So you go ahead and set up an equation. And we start solving for X. I have more X's over here, so I'm going to take them off the other side. 1 equals X minus 2. Add 2 to both sides. X equals 3. Oh, so that must mean my answer is D. But actually, hold your horsies. X is 3. They wanted to know what is the length of the whole segment. Well, I'll just do one of these. 4 times 3 minus 2. Well, that's 12 minus 2. That's 10. So if this side is 10, and let me check here. Oh, 3 times 3 plus 1. That's 10. That makes sense. That's good. They should be equal. The whole thing is 20. All right? RS equals 20.